Right now, you're sat there Googling what you should call your business or when in reality, none of that matters. But what you really need to be focusing on is your outreach. You need to be putting yourself out there. That is how you're gonna get clients and that is how you're gonna start making money. Now, my name's Liam. I run an AI automation agency where we build chatbots and help businesses automate their processes inside of their business. Now on this channel, we put out free content helping you guys do exactly the same and teaching you the ways of the AI masters. So in this video, we're gonna be talking about how you can automate your outreach. Now outreach for some is one of the most difficult things. It comes with a lot of confusion. There are a lot of different steps and it can be quite crazy to understand. Now for our agency, we're lucky enough that we get a lot of inbound through this YouTube channel, but we also do have outreach that goes out every single day that is connecting with people on email and connecting with people on LinkedIn. And we don't have to touch it. We set it up once and we check it every now and then, maybe changing some scripts, changing our offer a little bit, just based on the data that we're collecting. And that is what I want you guys to do. And this should be the number one thing that you get set up from day one. So let's jump in this video. Let's go over what outreach is, what tools we use. And later on, I'm gonna be going through step-by-step step how you can get it set up and how you can start running it from today. Now with outreach for us, there's three different steps. We have leads that need to be generated, we send out cold emails, and we send out cold LinkedIn connections and messages. Now, there are more layers to this. You could be messaging people on Instagram or joining Facebook communities and outreaching to people inside of that. But this is going to be the easiest outreach for you to automate because there are tools in place that make it super, super simple. One thing you need to remember is it is fucking boring and it takes effort to set this up. So if you are someone who just wants instant success and instant rewards, move on because this video ain't for you. But if you're willing to put in the work and you're willing to do some boring work and you're disciplined enough to do that, then this video is going to help you and be an absolute game changer for what you want to build. This is going to be you in bed, sleeping like a fucking baby, knowing that your outreach is handled every single day and it's set on autopilot so that you don't even have to touch it. It's just happening in the background. That is the key thing here. We don't want to be manually sending out 200 emails a day. We want to set up systems just like we're doing for our clients inside of our AI automation agency. We set up systems where we automate these processes. We strip away the manual labor part and we actually ensure that it is a well-oiled machine rather than it just being some dusty old tractor that just isn't working properly, right? So what do we use for our outreach? Well, we use Instantly AI for our email outreach. We use Dripify for our LinkedIn outreach and we use Rocket Reach to find our new leads. Now, jumping into Instantly, you can automate finding leads on this platform. You can automate your initial emails. You can automate your follow-up emails so you can set sequences. And then you can auto warm up email accounts. This is a big thing a lot of people miss. They assume that outreach is just copy and pasting emails or putting people in the newsletter in bulk sending. The reality is you need to set up different email domains under different accounts that then send a certain amount of emails every day to ensure that they don't hit the spam filters and Google doesn't blacklist your email account. We will be going over that later today and I'm gonna be showing you how you can get that set up. Secondly, LinkedIn outreach, Dripify. There are other options. You can use the likes of Octopus, but for the purpose of this video, we're gonna use Dripify because I've been testing it out for a while now and I'm really liking the features and I think it's super easy to use. But yeah, you can automate finding leads on LinkedIn. You can automate your initial DMs and you can automate follow-ups as well. And the best thing about these platforms is they aggregate all of the responses that you get inside of the platform. So instead of you trawling through LinkedIn or trawling through your email account, seeing if anyone's actually responded to you, you can just log into Instantly or you can log into Dripify and you'll actually be able to see what responses you've got and whether you've got an interested lead or not. So number three is Rocket Reach and this is what we use to find our leads. So you can find decision makers, so you can look for CEOs, founders, managing directors, you can filter your searches, so you can look at employee count, turnover, the niche of the business that they're in, and then you can connect with campaigns. So we can actually move these leads over to our instantly campaign, for example, and send those emails out to these guys that we scrape on Rocket Reach. Then, of course, if you wanted to automate this part, you can actually just automate it by plugging in another human, like a virtual assistant, and that's exactly what we do. We pay for the subscription for Rocket Reach, and then we give access to a virtual assistant that we have in the Philippines, where she charges us around $7 an hour, and she does all of our email scraping for us and just keeps that lead list full. Now, there's a key thing that you need to remember. And unfortunately, this is just the way of life and this is the way it goes. But these tools 
cost money. Nothing in life is free, boys and girls. Okay, you need to remember that. If you want to have something that is working well, you want to set up a business, there is gonna be a level of investment that you need to put in. If you're not willing to make those investments or you're not in a position to make those investments just yet, keep grinding your ass off until you are because this is the only way that you're gonna build and scale your business is by implementing these systems and these systems, they cost cash. Hard-earned guacamole. So what do we do inside of our agency when it comes to outreach? Well, we're sending 200 emails every single day through instantly. We're sending at least 40 LinkedIn requests every single day as well. And then we're also collecting 300 plus leads every single day using Rocket Reach that we then feed into our email campaign. So you can see here, we've got a very well-formed system that just ensures that we have our name being put out into the world every single day without foul. So this is what you need to be focused on. This is what you want to get to. We could be collecting more than 300 leads. Maybe we could even be sending out more than 40 requests every day on LinkedIn. But like I said, our business, we get a lot of inbound. So we've set this up in a way that it's steady for us. Your business is gonna be different. It's up to you, but I do recommend you make sure you understand the rules and implications of sending out 100,000 emails a day. Like it's not gonna work. There is a lot of work that is involved to get you to that point of being able to do that. It's just, you're not gonna be able to find enough leads. Do it at a rate that makes sense for you. Do it at a rate that you can manage and do it at a rate that if you had 15 people come back to you on email and say, hey, I'm interested, you're not gonna shit your pants and not know what to do. So start slow, start steady, build it up gradually, and then you will get there. Now inside of the inner circle, which is our agency mentorship, where we work with our guys and we help them build out their offer, we help them set up their email campaigns, we help them close business basically, this is what we're seeing. We're seeing two weeks of setup time and then a three to four week window where they then start to receive people that are interested in the offer that they're sending out, and then they're then jumping on calls with those clients. So. This is the timeline you should expect. Again, if you want results tomorrow, it's not gonna work, mate. You need to wait at least three to four weeks in this case. Without further ado, let's get set up together. Let's jump into this and let me show you how it all works. So these are our instantly.ai email accounts. Now you'll see all of these email accounts are pretty much the same. They're a variation of Liam at unorthodoxuk.co.uk. They're different variations of the domain. Our main website is unorthodox.digital, but we also have a separate website that is specifically talking about AI, which is unorthodoxai.co.uk. Now I would usually recommend that if your domain is bobsai.com, then you don't actually use that domain to be sending out emails. So in our case, our main domain, we do not send out any emails from, and we only buy these separate domains to use for our email campaigns. This is gonna help you scoot under Google's radar when it comes to blacklisting you and putting you to spam folders. And it's gonna make sure that your core domain and your main domain is kept clean and you don't have any issues there. So you can see in instantly it shows you a health score. These have been warming up for a while now and we've actually been sending out emails from these accounts. We're getting people coming back to us. Now we have lots of instantly accounts set up with lots of different emails from our co-founder, from our other team members. We have lots covered. In this account, we're gonna go through the process of setting up a brand new email domain. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna come on over to GoDaddy. So first things first, we need to now buy a domain that we can then create some email addresses for to then start running our campaigns. Now the rule is, and take note of this, for every one domain that you have, you set up a maximum of three email users under that domain. Anything more than that, it's gonna trigger the spam filter for Google and you're gonna see a reduced delivery rate. So I'm gonna buy unorthodoxbot.co.uk. It is aligned with what we do. We build chatbots and it has our core business name in the title. So I'm gonna to go to checkout and I'm gonna pay for this domain. Like I said, nothing is free. You do have to spend some money. I recommend using GoDaddy as well because it has the simplest integrations. And it's really easy to manage your DNS. If you're like, what the fuck is the DNS? Don't worry, I'll talk about that in a second. We're gonna set this to one year and then we are gonna go through and click I'm ready to pay. So I'm gonna go through this and purchase this and then we can jump onto the next step together. Cool, our new domain has been purchased. So the next step we're gonna to wanna to do is we're now gonna to wanna to go over to Google and actually register this domain in our Google admin console. I know it sounds confusing, just go slow and take your time. Once we've done that, we can then set up our email accounts and connect it to Instantly. This is the hard and the boring part. So you can see here on our Google console, we have some domains connected already. 
All you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to come to admin.google and then it will make you create an account. You'll set an account manager. In our case, it's just our email. And then we can actually get this set up on Google. So you're then gonna to wanna to come over to manage domains and we're gonna click add a domain. Now in our case, we just purchased unorthodoxbot.co.uk. So we're just gonna type that in up here add domain and start verification. We want it to be a secondary domain because it's not our core domain that we're using for our actual website. So you can see here it's registered that it's on GoDaddy and we can click sign in to verify. Yes, connect. And then we just let it do its stuff for a couple of minutes. It says five minutes left and then we will have everything set up. Now, whilst we're waiting for that to happen, let's jump back on over to Instantly and let's look at some basic sequencing that we have set up for one of our outreach campaigns. So we set this up 15 days ago. We sent 1,100 emails, 619 people have opened those emails and we've received six responses. Now, four of these responses were basically people telling us to go away and they're not interested, but two of those, we actually managed to book calls and we are in talks with these clients right now for potential work. Work. How does it operate? How does it work? What is our sequence? Step one is super simple. Hello, first name. I hope you're well. I'll keep it brief. We help businesses like company name, which is basically taking variables from the leads that we put in and it's changing these fields based on the data, right? So their first name will change, their company name will change. We help them understand how to best leverage AI and automation systems. We've been significantly improving the volume and conversion of inbound leads by adding AI. Now, this all depends on who your target niche is and it also depends on what you are actually offering. Building out your offer is one of the most important things for your outreach and for also just your business in general. If you don't have a good offer, you're gonna to struggle to sign anyone up and you're just gonna constantly be battling yourself, wondering why no one responds to you. It's because your offer isn't sexy enough and no one cares about it. So in our case, we let them know that we've built them a chatbot. You know, I've spoken about this in another video before. We talk about building a chatbot, we say that we have it ready for them, and then we try to get them on a call where we can then go over a demo bot and show them exactly how it works. You don't have to copy this script. You can if you want to, because it does work, but this definitely isn't the best offer. So we're gonna be spending the next few weeks refining our offer and really diving into what works based on the data that we're receiving. There is no point doing anything unless you test it. You need to collect data points and understand what is working and what isn't. You are not an expert, you can't just guess it. I'm not an expert, I can't just guess it. I have to do tests, I have to collect that data and really just put things to the test before I can say yes that works or no that doesn't. So step two, if they don't respond within three days, we then send another follow up saying, hey, would you like me to send over that chatbot? You can ask it questions, you can also collect emails, data, blah, blah, blah. Just again, reaffirming that we wanna show them this demo bot. You probably should go on and add like three more steps here. So you follow up again after another three days or another five days. That is what is gonna get you the best response rate, but I'm just a lazy bastard and we get so much inbound that I just neglect our outreach a little bit. But this is something that I will be jumping on over the next couple of days and I highly recommend you do the same. But that is essentially the sequence. It's as easy as that to set it up inside of Instantly. Now there is a monthly fee that you do have to pay. So there will be a link down below in the description if you just wanted to go over there and check that out. Don't think it's an affiliate. So yeah, I'm not making any money off it, don't worry. But that is it, you set up your sequence and then you can come back on other campaigns and you can click run. So let's see if our domain has been added. Perfect, unorthodoxbot.co.uk is right there. Now our next step is gonna be activating our Gmail. So what we can do here, you need to basically get your Gmail to point to the DNS, which is the back end of this domain, okay? Again, sounds confusing, but very, very simple if you follow this video. We're gonna hit next, and it's gonna give you the steps that you need to put in on GoDaddy. We're just basically gonna copy and paste a few things over, and we will run that together. So cool, we've now got Gmail activated on our domain. The next step is to buy user access for our emails. So we're gonna to wanna to come on over to directory and click users. Now you can see here on these domains, we have a few users. We're gonna come up here and click add new user. You're not gonna have any right now. And we're gonna to need to buy licenses for these emails. So like I said, we wanna use free email accounts per domain that we buy. They cost £9.20 per month. So they aren't that cheap but it's gonna cost you 24 pound or $32 or something like that every single month to run this. So you're gonna hit continue. We're gonna buy this, that's all gone through. And now what we should be able to do is come back on up with two users and we should be able to create those users. So my first name is obviously Liam. Second name is gonna be Evans. And then my primary email is gonna be liam at unorthodoxbot.co.uk. Now in those other examples I gave you, they were liam.e and then liam.e without the dot. It's as simple as that. If your name's Tom, do Tom, Tom.m, 
Tom M, Tom. Doesn't matter, you don't have to get crazy with it, just keep it simple. And then that is all we need to do. Click add new user, and it's gonna take us through the steps of setting up this account now on Google. So hit copy, head on over to Google and log in. So you're gonna click add account, and then you're gonna type in that new domain, unorthodoxbot.co.uk, click next, and we're gonna paste in that password that we just copied and it's gonna take us to a page where we get to change our password. What I recommend you do is you keep all of these passwords the same across all of your outreach accounts. The only reason you're using these email accounts is to do outreach on. So you just wanna be able to log in and access them. You don't wanna be thinking of 12 different passwords for all of these different accounts. I just keep them super simple. There you go. We've set the new email and then that will take us to our login. Cool, so we now have our email set up. So the next step is for us to now go back over to Instantly, come to our email accounts and add a new email account. Now we set it up with Google. Now what you're gonna to wanna to do is follow these steps. It's really simple, you hop back into Gmail, click the gear icon, go to all settings, forward in and pop an IMAP tab. In the IMAP access, enable IMAP. Super simple, you can go ahead and do that. Yes, IMAP has been enabled, I've already done that. Now what it's then gonna do is get you to authorize instantly as like a trusted app for Google. So again, there is so many guides on how to do this, but I will show you. So you're gonna to go to your workspace admin panel. You're literally gonna click that button and you're gonna see that we've already got it added, but you can click add app. You're gonna basically type this in and then you're gonna copy and paste that into it. And then you just click save and it adds instantly. Again, really simple. If you can't figure it out, you're gonna struggle with this business. Cool, we're gonna hit login and we're gonna log in to our email account that we just made. Gonna hit allow and it is as simple as that. So we should now see Liam at unorthodoxbot.co.uk all connected up nicely. Now, one thing we're gonna need to do, and I've already got this set up, so you're not gonna see this, is we need to set up our DKIM and our DMARC. You need to set this up for every single new domain that you purchase. So I'm gonna show you quickly how we do that. Again, there are so many guides on Instantly. If you can't figure it out from this video, just go and open one of their guides. But using GoDaddy as the main provider, here are the specific guides. So setting up DKAM for Google Workspace accounts. We hit that, here is an overview, and we can now follow these steps. So we've already added the domain to our Google. We've made the users, we've done all that stuff. We've set up MX records. But now what we have to do is we have to go into our GoDaddy and add these to our DNS. I do recommend you do take your time on this. Don't take your time to read through these instructions because you do have to get it right, okay? So all you need to do to set up your DKIM is come to this step. This is for GoDaddy, right? This is what we signed up with. This is where we bought our domain. We are gonna hit this link. It says, use this link for the authentication page. So we're gonna click that and it's gonna take us right here. Now the domain that we're working with is unorthodoxbot.co.uk in this case, yours is gonna be different, but we can generate records here that we need. So hit generate and then hit start authentication. We can head back on over to the instructions and then it will tell us to do that. Uh, and then what we have to do is go to our GoDaddy and actually edit our DNS. This bit is gonna be confusing for you guys. It's still confusing for me. I don't fully understand it, but I understand how to do it. Gonna go through the setup stage. I don't care about you building my experience. So I'm gonna to come to manage domain, and then you can see we're on the unorthodox bot domain on GoDaddy. And then I'm gonna hit DNS, and we can see that we have an option to start adding some confusing stuff to our domain. Now we can go back on over to our settings, and we can see that it wants us to add a text record name. And that one that we just got is that text record. So our text record name is gonna be Google Domain Key. We're gonna click Add New Record, Text. The name is Google Domain Key. And our text record value is gonna be this. Now, I should get an error message and it shouldn't let me do it because there's likely gonna be already text messages. Ah, oh, no, it did work. So sometimes if it doesn't work, it will be because you have multiple records that conflict with one another. So bear that in mind, it may be a case of you having to go through and deleting some, but sometimes it worked and it worked for me this time. So we should now have our DKIM set up. So you go back and then you click authenticate, start authentication, and then Google's gonna run its check to ensure that it is working. So right now it's ticking away, it's checking that, and whilst we're waiting for it to happen, we can go through and we can set up our DMARC. So use this website, again, on the instantly instructions, you just click it and follow along. Our domain is our unorthodox bot, unorthodox.co.uk. We're gonna choose what email our DMARC reports are sent to. You can put whatever you want. I usually just have it on the email that we're setting up. So in this case, Liam at unorthodox bot.co.uk. 
and then I'm going to hit generate. Now again, this is going to give us our DMARC record. So if we go back on over to the instructions, it will tell us how we then set that up. So we've got to go back on over to GoDaddy. Hope you're still following along. We're going to click add new record and we are adding another text type record. The name is going to be DMARC and then our value is going to be this one that we just set up on that easy DMARC website. Come back on over to GoDaddy, paste that in and then we're going to hit save. And that is updating our DNS records, success. So now if we go back on over to instantly, and we check that this has been set up, we can see that our DKIM has registered now, but our DMARC still hasn't. So we now just need to give it some time, let our DMARC register, and we should be good to go. We can start sending out these email campaigns. Now this video is getting very, very long, and I understand that, but this is a long process to set up and you only have to do it once. So once it's done, it's done. There we go, boom, our Instantly account is all set up and ready to go. So follow those steps, do what I just did. And now what we're gonna wanna do is come on over to our new domain and hit enable warm up. Now what this is gonna do, this is why Instantly is so good, it automates that email warm up process. Rather than us just spamming our emails from day one, it's actually gonna send fake emails and then it's gonna open those emails in a fake inbox and send us fake emails back and it tricks Google into believing that this is a real email account that has genuine activity and people open our emails. So that gets us out of the spam folders and into inbox. That is why we see such high open rates with Instantly. Now, unfortunately, you do have to go through this process with every single user that you create on your domain, but you do not need to set up your DKIM and your DMARC every single time. That is just for every new domain that you add. But for every user, you do have to go through Google. You have to come up here, add user, create the Google account, and then connect it to your instantly. But what I recommend you have is you have three different domains, three different users per domain, and a total of nine email accounts sending out emails every single day. So that is how you set up your instantly campaign. That is how you start warming up your emails. And we've gone through the sequencing already. Now let's take a quick look at Lead Finder and show you the possibilities that you have here. So inside of Instantly, you can actually find your own leads as well. So we can actually come here, we can type in United Kingdom, we can type in Managing Directors, Managing Director, CEO, maybe we want the CMO as well, um, and Industry, we want Accountants. Now obviously yours is gonna be completely unique. Now what we wanna make sure is that these companies aren't 1000 employees right because we're never going to be able to break through we're never going to be able to actually get on their supplier list and actually do work for them so zero to 25 25 to 100 might even be pushing it but you can see here we now have leads starting to generate we can now down the revenue we can lock down keywords we can change the job titles that we're searching for but you can essentially select these and add these to your campaigns simple as that now i will be going into more detail about this on another video otherwise this video is going to be two hours long and i know that most people's attention span isn't cut out for that. So we're gonna leave this for now, but this is a great feature of Instantly. It does cost money, but it's well, well worth it. That is how we also collect leads as well. And it's just another way for us to funnel in leads to our campaigns. Funnily enough, we just got a message back from a new potential client. So he's responded saying, sure, thanks, best Daniel. Cheers, Daniel, that gives us a lot to work with. But I'll now go back and I'll request, you know, to book in a call with this guy and just run him through the bot that we built him, that we built him. We haven't actually built him anything yet, but we will now that he's responded. Remember, sell first, build after. There is no point you building all these bots for every single person that you're reaching out to. It just doesn't make any sense for you to do that. Okay, you now got your email automation set up. Let's now move on to Dripify and show you how this works. Now, LinkedIn is fairly simple. We all know how to use it. Some of you may be working at jobs currently, so maybe this isn't gonna be the best thing for you to use. But for those of you who are self-employed and you don't give a shit about your LinkedIn, you don't care if people see you marketing your business, then this is another great way for you to potentially get new business. All you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to come to campaigns. Once you've made your account, again, this does cost every single month. You're gonna hit new campaign and you're gonna add leads. So you can now name your lead list. We're gonna call it marketing agencies and it's gonna be from a LinkedIn search. So we're gonna come up to LinkedIn. We're gonna to come to search and we're gonna type in marketing agency owner. Again, you can filter this down. If you've got sales navigator, you can get really detailed with this but we're gonna search for people and we can see we now have a list of digital marketing agency owners and all of these different types of business owners. Now, I am kind of rushing through this part because it's fairly simple and very straightforward. You just follow the guides on Dripify. I'm gonna paste that search into here. You can obviously get as detailed as you want and we can see that it's found over a thousand profiles. So for this, I wanna add a thousand users to this campaign. So I'm gonna create this list and it's gonna give me that list of a thousand people that are connected to that LinkedIn search that we just did. 
So I'm going to hit next. I'm then going to click lead generation, select template, and you can see it's giving me a template of things to do. So first things first, it's going to send out an invite to connect with this person. We can customize that message. So the invite message is going to be something like, hey, first name, it's going to use their first name. We would love to show you the AI bot that we built for their company. Cool, save, done. We're then gonna go through all of these different steps. Now, I don't really care about endorsing their skills, but what I do wanna do is send out another message saying, I'll give you an example of a message that we send. We'll change that to first name. Hey, first name, hope you're well. I'll keep it brief. We trained a custom AI chatbot to use the content from your website to answer and respond to questions from users and potential clients. We'd love to send you a demo of the bot. Happy to help you integrate it completely for free. Perfect. Now, if they don't respond to that, I'm gonna wait three days and same with our email campaigns, we're gonna add another action. So I want another message, basically following up with them, essentially saying this, hey, first name, thanks for connecting. Would you like me to send over that chat bot? You can ask it questions about your business and it will use AI to respond and give you custom responses based on what we train it. You can also collect emails, data from your website, visitors, plug in directly into your CRM. So again, you can get creative with this, put together a offer, put together a real plan and just test the waters. But once that's now been set up, we can now hit next and we can name our campaign marketing agencies and we can choose whether we want to push this data into a hubspot what we do is we connect it with zapier and send anyone that responds back straight to our hubspot so that our team can then keep track on people that have responded to us and we don't just lose that lead into the void of many messages that we're sending out we can also set stuff here like no photo and leads profile we'll skip them we'll skip if they have less than 500 connections all of that stuff i usually just keep it open and then high five, our campaign is now launched. So that is now gonna start sending out connections every single day up to the point of the limit of LinkedIn, which I believe is around like 50 connections per day. If you have premium, it's a lot higher than that. But yeah, I'm gonna turn this off because I actually don't wanna contact marketing agencies. But you can see here, we have a pretty good acceptance rate and a response rate from these campaigns that we've been running. And if we go into inbox, we have a few people that have come back to us interested in booking calls. So that is a massive win because this is all automated. It's done automatic whilst we sleep. We do not have to worry about it. And it's just another way for us to fill a pipeline into our business. Now, the final step that I wanna show you guys is gonna be a rocket reach. Now, Rocket Reach is another useful tool that we use to find our leads. So the reason why Rocket Reach is so good is because it has a lot of leads on this and it allows us to actually find contact details from businesses that we maybe want to manually scrape. Just like before with Instantly, we can come through and we can set up different locations. Say I wanna go in the US, I want job title to be CEO, owner, maybe even managing director and I want them to be in the financial. Now Rocket Reach is now gonna do its thing where it goes through and it finds all of these leads. We can see there's 147,000 results there. Now obviously, I do you recommend you going through and you change more details like employee count, maybe even revenue, or get really, really detailed with the specific uh, type of owner that you actually want to contact, right? There's no point you messaging the social media manager for, for argument's sake. You have to be going direct to the decision maker. So we can now come and we can collect all of this info. Now this app does cost money. Again, you have to spend money to make money, but you can then funnel these leads into your instant e campaigns and you can also find in LinkedIn details that you can then put into your Dripify campaign. So if you want to automate this entire process, you can just hire in a virtual assistant from Upwork. That's what we do. They are everywhere. It's super easy to find, but that is another way for you to automate your outreach. Guys, that is essentially it. That is how you automate your outreach. It does take a while to get used to. It will take you some time to get through it. There are elements that you need to adjust and fix as you progress as well. So it's not just a case of set and forget, unfortunately. You can set it and forget it for a couple of weeks but do recommend you jump in you check that data you cross reference you see what's working you split test and then ultimately you're going to be left with a killer campaign that is closing you business on autopilot whilst you sleep guys if you want more information jump into the free agency discord down below you can also join the inner circle where we handhold you through everything we have a course that you can follow along with and then you also get direct access to me where we jump on calls and we just help you build your agency thank you so much for watching this video go out there and fucking kill it this is not a get rich overnight business this is a business that you're going to be building for the next six months to a year and i promise you now if you put in the work you are going to make the money thank you so much for watching guys 
guys. Like the video, subscribe, all of that juicy stuff. Catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.